Good morning everyone, myself Tanvi Patel, working as Assistant Professor in Computer Engineering Department in Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center, Navsari. Subject is Effective Technical Communication and Unit 4 is Ethics in Engineering. So today our topic is what is ethics, what is engineering ethics, morals, scope of engineering ethics and important skill for ethical reasoning. Now first of all what is ethics? Ethics or moral philosophy is a branch of philosophy that involves systematizing, defending and recommending concept of right and wrong behavior. Ethics is the process of questioning, discovering and defending our values, principles and purpose. It's about finding out who we are and staying true to that in the face of temptation, challenges and uncertainty. So ethics means what? It is a type of phase in which they test, our, they test that how much true we are saying to them on their face. How much we can control our temptation, we can control our anger, we can face the challenges and the uncertainty given by the responsibilities given by the other people. So this is ethics. Now what is engineering ethics? Engineering ethics is the field of system of moral principles that apply to the practice of engineering. The field examines and sets the obligation by engineers to society, to their clients and to their profession. It is one type of field of system of moral principles that apply to the practice of engineering that is engineering ethics. So here two terms first is engineering and the other is ethics. So engineering is the process of developing an efficient mechanism which quickens and eases the work using limited resources with the help of technology and ethics are the principles accepted by the society which also equate to the moral standard of human being. An engineer with ethics can help the society in a better way. Hence the term engineering ethics where such ethics are implemented in engineering by the engineers is necessary for the good for the society. Engineering ethics is the study of decision making, policies and values that are morally dis desirable in engineering practice and research. The ethical decision and moral values of an engineer need to be considered because the decisions of an engineer have an impact on the product and services. How safe they are to use the company and its shareholders who believe in the goodwill of the company the public and the society who trust the company regarding the benefits of the people, the law which cares about how legislation affects the profession and industry, the job and his moral responsibilities and about how the environment gets affected. These are the points which are being taken in mind by the engineers. Not only any engineer but everyone has to follow a set of morals in order to keep away from getting morally degraded. Our behavior should include the following. Respecting others and ourselves. Respecting the rights of others. Keeping promises. Avoiding unnecessary problems to others. Avoiding cheating and dishonesty showing gratitude towards others and encourage them to work. These are the points which should one kept in mind while your behavior, showing behavior to others. Now next is moral. The word morality originates from the Latin word mos meaning custom. Morals are the principle or habits which respect to right or wrong of one's own conduct. They are not imposed by anyone. Morals are what you think is good and bad personally. Through morals, 
are not imposed they can be understood as the preaching of our inner self depending on a few factors our mind filters things as good or bad these are the ideas that help frame our personality so that we can distinguish between what is right and what is wrong a moral is the code of conduct that you develop over time and set for yourself to follow just like below given points being go- good to everyone speaking out the truth going against what you know is wrong avoid cheating being a nice human being these are the some points which you should kept in your mind morals are always defined by one's own personality morals can be changed according to one's belief as they are completely dependent on one's perception towards the ethical values now next is scope in engineering ethics engineering ethics are social experiments that generate both new responsibilities for creating benefits preventing harm and pointing out dangers moral values prevent all aspects of technological development and hence ethics and ex- excellence in engineering go together macro and micro issues micro issues concern the decision made by individuals and companies and macro issues concern more about global issues both micro and macro issues are important in engineering ethics and often they can they come together technological development which optimizes with quotients next is promoting responsible conduct that is promoting and obeying the right laws and preventing it by doing wrong next is ethical dilemma problems that may occur in engineering as el- elsewhere because moral values are myriad and can conflict the engineers responsibility for safety safety consideration must be included in design from the start it is an engineer's duty to protect the safety and well-being of the public so these are the points which are being conducted in engineering ethics so this is the scope of engineering ethics now next is important skills for ethical reasoning the important skill for ethical reasoning are first is moral reasonableness that is the ability and willingness to be morally responsible that one should have while dealing such issues unless one is willing and improve such ability justice cannot be done next is respect for person the persons involved in the issue should be treated with genuine concern by one such concern should also be there with oneself along with being there for others next is tolerance of diversity one should have a broader perspective towards ethics and religious difference that the people have every people differs with another when compared on grounds of moral reasoning the acceptance of those difference is really important next is moral hope the moral conflicts can be resolved by using better communication and having rational dialogues which is evident based and open ended which is acceptable and appreciable by both the parties next is integrity the moral integrity has to be maintained being honest and having strong moral principles help one to resolve an issue in an efficient manner an individual also need to consider others professional life and personal convictions while solving a problem thank you